What's going on, y'all? Chris from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got it done. Our last break of the night. I'm staying overtime. No sweat at all. 2022 Bowman Baseball Hobby 12 box case break number one, random division. So four spots, spot straight up. Thanks to y'all who bought spots. It's going to be Christopher, Michael, and Brian. And then congrats to Steven and Andrew who won them in our filler the break before this, that Chrome Platinum Anniversary number one break. So those are our players. And here are our divisions, the AL East, Central and West, and the NL East, Central and West. We're going to do a dice roll for both to determine our players and our divisions. Thanks again, y'all. Five and five, ten times. Ten times. Let's do it for both. Good luck. One. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one, ten. Ten times. Right here. Brian down to Steven. Steven, who closed out that filler, gets in on the spot. And then 10 times here, once again, 5 and 5, 10. AL East down to NL West. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Ten times. There we go. AL Central down to NL East. Certainly, in the case of Bowman Hobby, no bad spots. But we'll do it. Brian with the AL Central. Michael with the NL Central. Andrew with a spot that he won gets the AL East. Christopher gets the AL West and the NL West, throwing up the West side. And Stephen P from that spot one gets the NL East. Um, I'll do it just for prosperity's sakes. If there's any trade discussion, uh, we will know about it. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back on the other side, we will do a whole case of Bowman Hobby. Thanks again, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, so we are back. A little late, so no trade chatter. So let's just get right to it. Whole random divisions. I was doing the... I was drinking my water, staying hydrated. I'll be here for a minute, you know? But I appreciate anyone still kicking it with me in the chat. We're all hanging out. Here is our sheet. Brian with the central, down to Christopher and the west. Throwing up west side. And here, our case of Bowman 22 Hobby. Good luck, everyone. All cards ship. Rookies, vets, inserts, chromes, papers. God, it's heavy. Bro, I got, I got a gallon, you know? I got the gallon insulated water bottle. I don't even need it. There's no no one to help me pack that. That was my that was not my hazing, but you know my my onboarding, my young boy duties is I would I would do, I would pack stack for for Joe and Jason. You can go back to some of those early twenty two Bowmans. That's what I was there to do. Paying my dues, you know. Oh, before I forget how quick and easy this rip is, though, huh? That's how it should be. I still think, though, talking about the Gatorade bottles thing, Gilo, I think that we should get Jaspies branded bottles. Like, come on. Gotta get that merch up. Like, my, my bottle has our sticker on it. I want you know, something engraved. Nice Yeti, you know, some little insulated, you know. Keep that cold or hot drink in there. I see some yellow or some gold in that first stack. Trust me, we've been to one of the uh, 
one of one of the uh, the things that we're doing is that you know we have like uh, you know little meetings and try to meet goals. You know, try to get better. That's the whole point. You know, no getting stagnant, no complacency. But one of the goals this month was everyone throw out three suggestions, whether it's something that can be improved on the breaking side or the store side or the the short, sorting and shipping side or just quality of life stuff. You know, whatever it is. And I think a few people have asked, or one of the suggestions is going to be, where's the merch? New merch. As, I mean, as the, I mean, I'll say it, as the tallest person here, and the biggest one here, most likely, there's no 3X. I don't get to wear any merch. There's, there's no merch that's made in my size here. So, I'll, you know, I'll pay extra to get something, but you gotta let me get something. And even then, throw some more hats. Well, lanyards, stickers, the bottles. We should sell box cutters, placemats, whatever it may be. You know, we need to up the game. Long sleeve shirts, hoodies. Give me some Jaspies branded shorts and sweats. I mean, come on. All right, box one. First stack here. Good luck, y'all. Box one. Some Jaspies coins. Colson Montgomery. And James Wood chromes. Nice there. This one will have to be a little quick. We'll sleeve and top wood autos. Just like that. Alejandro Hidalgo. Angels. AL West. And that's going to Christopher Gerard. Jaspies coins. Had and sure. I mean, we did. Yeah, I know. We did. We. And I think the, not the, it's like the card holders themselves. We would sell those too. Cleo Watson. Nice one right there. One of the guys that we sleeve in top load. Henry Davis. And we do have some gold. Hendry Mendez. 26 out of 75. I think this is actually the yellow parallel. But Brewers. NL Central. Michael Osha, Chrome, Hendry Mendez out of 75. Nice one there. Nothing better than, than parallel Chromes. I'm going to go a little quick. We do have some cracked ice here on the wheel of a Piguero. These are non number. Excuse me. They are. 66 out of 150. On one of my guys, we have a big arrow. Pittsburgh Pirates. Another one for the NL Central. That's going to Michael Osha. Actually, which what Joe and Jason would just sleeve these. So I'm just going to sleeve the parallels. I will top load the autos. Either myself or, you know, one of our other swords and shippers will do the top loading on that. What to do? That'd be sick. We're <laughs> just ideas to give away merch, you know, something. So we got the Shimmer, Teal Shimmer, Alexander Ramirez for the Angels. 83 out of 125, Angels, AOS, Christopher Gerard. Some more color coming up as well. Maybe paper. Andrew Lara, Lime Green, 395 out of 399 for the Nats. AL, AL, NL East, Stephen P, the spot he won straight up, or spot he won from the break, from the filler before. Jordan Vivas, one of the guys that we do sleeve, excuse me. Signed merch, I've been saying that too. Signed placemat, one of ones, you know. All oh, the scratches were fun for the Christmas. Yeah, those were good times. I mean, I, those are some. That's something that we will bring back as we get closer to the holiday season. Scratchers, stickers, that sort of thing.
crack uh, this this are the crack that are not numbered. Louis Sosa for the White Sox. Not numbered, but we will sleeve that up. When we get to it. There's a Wander Franco, another guy that we will sleeve and top with, obviously. All the Wanders. Never got one, but liked them. I mean, this is maybe coming up, man. It's going to be the year. It's going to be the time to get them. One case is all it takes, you know. Stick him here. To Pete Crow Armstrong there. Invicta of Jordan Walker. Another Colson Montgomery paper. Jose Salas prospect. Max Muncy first in there as well. George Valera, Chrome. One of the guys that will be sleeve and top load. And the last stack of box number one. Another cool Watson, paper. Colton Cowson. Number three pick last year. All right, that's box number one. Good pace. Let's see if we can get a little quicker. You know, the one thing I have not I have not done from a break, whether on the IG or the YouTube side of this, you know, I've gotten that five, that nice red five, but I haven't seen that, that one. So a case of, of of hobby. I mean, shoot, let's mess around and get that. Uh, let's see our friend Juan. Works at a uh, Numero Uno Pizzeria. I wouldn't mind. I'm sure y'all wouldn't either. Someone in this break getting a one on one. Nice wander off the rip there. I would do so many of these sorting and, and breaking that I would figure out some of the correlation. Nice O'Neal Cruz there, first O'Neal Cruz. I think we're going to have to add him to the uh, the sleeve and top build list. That dude is just the talk of baseball right now. I think he went deep again either today or yesterday. God, that dude's a freak. No, not quite Juan Yepes. Juan of Juan, you know? Uno de uno. That's, you know, we like that. We like that one. Spencer Strider, another interesting little rookie. He threw the fastest pitch by a starter that was record that's been recorded since the Statcast era. 103, I think, yesterday in a six inning, no run, eleven strikeout game. He is a really interesting piece for the Braves. They don't know if they want want him to be a starter. He's had some super relief spots out of the pen this year already. He's an interesting little piece there, that Spencer Strider. The Braves keep developing some really, really good pitching. Much to the chagrin of people in the NL East and my Dodgers. I guarantee you we'll see Spencer Strider in the postseason against my Dodgers very soon. All right, here's box number two. Good luck.
Joe Ryan having a sneaky rookie of the year campaign as well. Henry Mendez. We got his Chrome earlier. Now we get his Refractor Auto. 19 out of 4.99 on card. Henry Mendez Auto for the Brewers and the NL Central. That is Michael Oshio. Very nice. 19 out of 4.99. Trey Sweeney Paper for the Yankees, one of their top prospects. Some ASMR, how so? Max Muncy, Chrome first, a nice one for the AL West. Onya Cruz, I will throw in our sleeve pile. It's just, he's he's crazy, man. He really is. Oh, yeah, Com especially compared to the SP Authentics. No offense to the upper decks, but you now these ones, they're a little easier. Cracked Ice Malcolm Nunez, once again, non-numbered. But a cracked ice parallel nonetheless. We will sleeve. There's Wander. We'll sleeve him up as well. I wonder if there's a way that you can make these, like make packs easier or whatever to open or not open, you know? Like they know people are gonna be ripping a bunch of these in a row, right? So do they make it easier? As you get an Alejo Lopez purple paper, rookie for the Reds. Reds, and El Central, another one for Michael Oshia. 77 out of 250. Ellie De La Cruz, another one for the Reds in the El Central, Michael. All card ship here. James Wood, paper. Padres, NL West, and Christopher. Good name. Quill Watson, Bowman, and 3D. I'll get sleeved up. O'Neill Cruz, Rookie of the Year favorites. Invicta of Nick York. And right here, last stack of box number two. Refractor, Braylon Minier, 266 out of 499. Another for the Reds and for Michael in the NL Central. Last little group here. George Valera paper, Ellie De La Cruz paper, and that stack. Nice. Box number two down. If I'm going too quick, I'm trying to show every card on camera. You can always slow it down. In the settings, you go to 0 0.5, you go to 0 0.75, 0 0.25. This is a, a full case break. And with no one to pack, stack, or rip for me, we do have to uh, 
get to moving or I'm going to be here literally all night, which I don't mind doing, obviously. You all been very good to me today. And you workers still chilling at 11.13 p.m. Pacific. part that you get to skip through. I can probably say whatever I want, right? Let's test it. Because, I mean, I'll be honest, when I when I watch the videos, and when I first started watching videos, you know, like, you know, like, and if there's some co topic of conversation being discussed, the whole break, I'll skip through, and I'm like, hey, when do we get from point A to point D? Trying to see cards on retail again? I know! It's like, whoa, you got Bowman Megas sitting here at the Target. Very cool. Some Gypsy Queen Blasters, which I was kind of bummed. I never got a, a hold of. I'm sure they'll restock soon, though. I love Gypsy Clean. I love short prints. I love attention to detail. All right, box number three. Good luck, y'all. Diaz. hair. I love my hair tie in my car. Heritage may be important. That's George Valera Chrome. I mean, Heritage, if it all comes down to it and people really care about true rookie cards still, O'Neill Cruz true rookie card is Topps Heritage. That's a nice one right there. 95 out of 125. Teal. Chrome. Ellie Dale Cruz for the Cincinnati Reds. Nice one. Congrats, Michael. Another one for the Central, man. Central eating so far. Fourth of the way through the break. Congrats. Ellie Dale Cruz at a 125. Dustin Harris. Another nice one there for the AL West and the Texas Rangers. Nice power prospect coming up. Dribble to Vivas. Goes into our sleep pile. Nice. Orange. 18 of 25 on the Bo Naylor. Top 100 prospect number 73. Cleveland Guardians. AL Central. Brian Magnus. Yeah, that, that vintage feel. That kind of different little paper stock right there. 18 of 25. Nice one. No, any, anything kind of low like that, we'll, you know, we'll give a team, we'll a top low too. At least I can do. The card art, the card stock, it just, you know, hits whatever, you know. But man, it's just a great set. There's our auto. Juan Cordeguto. For the Seattle Mariners, AOS, Christopher Girard. Non-numbered here on card, though. Non-numbered. There's a Colson Montgomery paper as well. This one. And a Cleo Watson. And a James Wood Chrome. Nice run there. Colson Montgomery Chrome. Errol Vera, Blue Ray Wave, 48 out of 150. Angels, ALS, Christopher Girard. Two on-card autos, but a pretty good checklist, too. I do like minor league heritage. 
Bought a couple of those last year. O'Neill Cruz rookie card in there. Khalil Watson, Chrome first. Yeah, exactly. Crazy uniforms, crazy hats, wacky team names. It's a fun product, man. Wander Franco rookie card. I know he's coming up, but Dal Bruhan's kind of the giveaway. Ian Lewis. Blue. The Bowman Blue is what I've kind of been calling this. 437 out of 499. NL East. Going to Stephen Pete. Spot one and a filler. Max Muncy. Cracked ice, non-numbered for the ALS, Christopher Girard. Joe Ryan. Shouts out to Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, my favorite minor league team name in baseball. That is box three right there. Very nice. Point in the night. The hair is doing its own thing. And I also wish Tops would start doing, I guess Panini as well, is uh, I wish they would start selling the cover of boxes and packs as posters. Like, if you're a big minor league baseball guy, or you're a Jordan Lawler or a Wander guy, like, having the two of them together on, the, like, a poster like this is pretty cool. The cover of Series 2, Vladdy with that yellow, pops with the blue and the red so well, like, how could you not want that as a, as a big poster framed up? And I'm biased, but, uh, 2019 Series 2... With Kirsch and Sandy Koufax. Or Mike Child and Hank Aaron. Like, I'm kind of surprised that they haven't done that. Or if they do, and I'm oblivious to the fact of it, I would like to not be. Enlighten me. Box toppers are a fun idea. I just wish, especially since some of them can be auto, like Teddy, of like a month or so ago for a series two, pulled a Freddie Freeman auto box topper. Like the big old, the big old thing was auto on card out of ten. Like if that were the case, like they need to come sleeved, or they have to come with like a special sleeve or a toppler already. Like it's a good idea, the box topper, you know. But, like, I remember my first Cobra Stadium Club last year has those big box toppers. Ricky Henderson, awesome picture, obviously. But, like, you should just give me... Or, like, the archive. Like, archives last year. With, like, the movie posters. Like, you gotta give me those as actual full-size posters that I can frame and put up. You guys are losing money. Million dollars ideas, brother. That's all I do. I'm just an idea guy. Ugh, my back. All right, box four. Here we go. Hey, 
Invicta, Kevin Alcantara. There's Jack Solinski in there, who is now a rookie for the Pirates and become a legit power bat for them. It's really kind of cool to see him come up so quickly after getting his first and, and kind of lighting the league on fire. I think he's leading all rookies in home runs, something like that, at least in the NL. It's pretty cool, man. Steven Maziotti, another guy. He had his first, and I think like a week or two after, the Phillies called him up. 206 out of 499 for the NL East and Stephen P. And it's wood paper. Isaac Pacheco, why? Paper Lime Green, 309 out of 399 for the Detroit Tigers. AL Central, Brian Magnus. Ellie De La Cruz, Chrome. Speckle Auto of Dayton Dooney. AL Central, Brian Magnus, Kansas City Royals. Speckle, 171 out of 299. What a great name. 299, Dayton Dooney. Cruise paper. Yeah, I started watching in 2020. Really, I got back into it because you know, people were people I watch making who are making content were getting back into it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me see. I haven't opened cards in a long time. Let's see how it goes. And I got back into it. Watch a Tatis cracked ice. All right. That's very fun. Last stack here of box four, which we'll is keep on going. That is, I'm assuming, a homeless person. Carlos Correa, Astros edition, Bowman Blue, out of 499, Houston Astros, AOS, Christopher Girard. I'm sure you all heard the bang on the glass next to us. A Gerbert Vivas paper in there as well. Okay, that's box four. No, they are. I mean, I would assume. I mean, the, the glass window you cannot see through. There's like a big decal. They cannot see me. But. People hear things in their heads, and I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to keep going with this break. That'd be pretty crazy, though, if they could, huh? Box five. Give me a bit of a shock, but you know, gotta keep going. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Ain't nothing gonna slow me down. 
Oh no. Gotta keep on rolling. This is the kind where I get kind of worried though, and I'll check the gate and see if anybody has, you know, popped anything or is just kind of chilling. Did you hear that, Ted? What? The loud banging on my on my window. Somebody was banging on your window. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you still doing it? No. It was a few minutes ago, but it was pretty loud. So I'm, uh, I'm assuming a homeless person was yelling and screaming at... Did you get scared? I mean, I got a little surprised, yeah. I mean, they, they were yelling for like a couple minutes. Did you make a little peeps? Did you make a little peeps when they No, happened? but I was like... You know, like I was like, kind of, you know... Froze a bit, but I was, you know... <laughs> ripping packs, brother. I got work to do. But people definitely heard it. And it'll be here forever. Broadcasted live here from Hermosa Beach, California, coast to coast, coast to coast, and around the world, as so I would say. Pandemic hit, and COVID collector started buying up cards, checking prices, and gave up for a while. I mean, yeah. And then everyone would send their cards to PSA, get everything graded and slabbed, and now those cards aren't worth nearly as much as they should be because there are so many of them. Like, man, I feel like Wander, Wander's rookie card is going to be worthless. It sucks. It sucks, man. Like, if I was a, a player of his caliber and I cared like I would, I'd be like, damn, man. My, my rookie card's like 50 bucks. PSA 10. And I'm going to be the GOAT. Like, can you imagine if, like, the Mike Chop rookie card? You know, the last time I checked, the average price for, like, Mike Chop rookie card is like $2,200. And it's like, yeah, PSA 10, your stuff's worth like 80, maybe 100. I'm like, well, that's a lot of dimp. All right, box five. Let's get to it. Nice. Luis Verdugo, purple chrome auto. 204 out of 450 for the Chicago Cubs. And El Central, Michael Lozia. Once again, and El Central doing very, very well so far. Number 18 Cubs prospect out of 250. 204 out of 250. Purple Ray Wave, Noel V. Marte, Seattle Mariners. Nice big prospect coming up for the Mariners. Another one. 78 out of 199. ALS, Christopher Girard. Didn't find any cards for a year or so. Yeah, dude. It's, it was, I mean, I wasn't getting into it. I did not want to spend any money during the pandemic. Just in case, you never know. But, you know, now I can, prices have come down, maybe for a little bit. I can really kind of start doing PC stuff. Curtis Mead, nice one for the Rays, one of their top prospects. Non-numbered cracked ice parallel. And we back. And we back. And we back. And we back. Nice. Paper, but 72 out of 99 on the deep green Curtis Mead for the Tampa Bay Rays, AL East. Andrew. Andrew Batani from the, the Chrome Platinum Anniversary. Very nice. Number 12 Rays prospect. Very nice. Blue Ray Wave. Another Ray. Cooper Kinney. 63 out of 150. Andrew. And the AL East. Invicta, J Rod, potential rookie of the year. A 
Alex Vidal Brujan. So right after him is going to be Wander Franco. Antonio Cruz, rookie of the year favorites in there. Second and victims. Aurelvis Martinez, nice prospect coming up for the Blue Jays. Another AL East guy for Andrew. stack here, Ellie Dale Cruz paper and a Max Muncie Chrome as the last card there. Used to be able to roll in here and get my teams easy. Nah, I mean, you could ask that for some of the the real, like some of the real legit OGs. I'm talking to, you know, Rex and Nancy, some of the people. Who, who are who are in here actively and telling them like, oh, it's going to be eight years next month or, you know, eight years in a few months. I'm like, eight years? Man, that's... No, I appreciate anyone who comes in here and, 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 and comes in and buys a spot or two with a filler full of spots, mixers, whatever it may be. But, man, eight years? That's crazy. Some legit OGs, man. Back when, uh, back when they were, you know, the Jaspies, you know, Nick and even Mike, you know, Mike Jaspie, Joe were breaking out of a garage, which is just crazy to me, because I only know the store, like, I, I don't know the space here, like, that's the only space that I would watch, and, you know, sometimes we have a, a third TV out in the front, we have one, really two TVs for the sports, they're kind of going at all times when someone's here. And there's a third TV that we usually keep on the break and we'll throw on random break videos of ours. And it's like, man, look at how, look at young Nick Jaspi, the kid, breaking in a garage. You see Joe, you know, Queen Jason, Queen Shave, Babyface Jason, breaking stuff at the old, old spot. It's like, dang, man. We've been working and grinding. And, and now we're here and we don't really get to do all this. It's like, once again, I'm gonna do this Without y'all, y'all, y'all make this. I'm y'all. I'm doing the easy part. This is the easy part. I get to shoot the shoot the mess with y'all. Break some cards. Talk sports. Talk whatever. Talk about the hobby. I'm just you know lucky to be here. Five years, nice. Years for Chila. Well, thank you, brother. Five years. That's kind of why, you know, they want me to do this. You know, they don't want it to be just Joe and Jason. You know, they don't want to take vacations. Now they want to be able to not work five or six days a week. So I, I come in here and I, I, I relieve some some I leave some pressure. Bakersfield, shouts out. Shouts out Eddie. 1137 p.m. on July 3rd. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for Chad. Thanks for coming in. Anyone who's lurking in here. We're talking active. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> I think that's fair to try to figure out. What the heck? Where'd y'all go? That was funny. There we go. Went away for a second. There we go. You gotta commit some things out sometimes, you know? 
God for you know, God willing, I'm I'm still figuring some stuff out, not just from the presentation standpoint, but you know, the technical stuff. And, Watson. Also Montgomery and James Wood. Next auto is Adam Macko, Seattle Mariners. Pitcher auto, Bowman first, Chrome. AL West, Christopher Girard. He's a beast, man. He's a different kind of shark. Nice George Fuller there. He he's like an all time guy. I mean, he's like you know the face of this place. He's the face that runs the place. Triple Vivas, Tower Soda, Strong Cracked Ice. Joe has not kept it hidden. He doesn't want to do five days of breaking forever, so that's, you know, where I step in. Jaron Duran, boy, who's heating up for the Boston Red Sox. 52 out of one, or 92 out of 150. AL East, Andrew. Nice one there. For box six, we're kind of coasting. James Wood in there. Paper. Wander Franco. George Valera, and an Alan Serta, green speckle, 54 out of 99, Cincinnati Reds, and El Central, Michael Loja. Number 17 prospect for the Reds. Yeah. Joe Joe was banging out breaks for six days. Joe Vivas. Little Watson paper there. Little Watson Bowman in three D. Purple of Max Muncy paper out of 250. AL West Christopher Girard. Nice one. Last few. In box six. Halfway done, y'all. Woo! Max Muncy, Oakland A's shortstop prospect, their first round pick last year. Highly touted, just like former Oakland A's prospect, now third baseman, second baseman for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Same name, drafted by the same organization, but he's good. I think Max is in 20... 16, 2014, 2016, I think, one of those years. Okay. 
it's 14. I think it's 2014. Oh, my bad. I might need to switch to a seated position. That's the one thing. I don't know how Joe stands up for all this time. It's probably be, he also might be because he's a bit shorter than I am, so he doesn't have to hunch over to do breaks, you know? I'm a, I'm a tall boy. I know. It, it is, especially since they're drafted, both both drafted by the A's, pretty high up. Max is a pretty touted, touted, highly touted guy coming out of college and then sort of became somewhat of a bust. He was not very good as a major leaguer in Oakland. Dodgers traded for him, turned him into a launch angle and con, you know, high, high contact, you know, exit velo kind of guy. Now he's pretty damn good. He was, he was average. He was an underwhelming guy. You know, they thought he was going to be just a glove, which is really funny because now it's somewhat of the opposite. All-star, home run derby guy. Having a pretty slow season, which is not what you want to see if you are him and his agency in a walk year. Last year of his contract with the Dodgers. And he was looking like one of the bigger names in this free agent class, but he has not been Max Muncy. For selfish reasons, I was hoping he was going to have a monster monster year, put up like a 45 home run season for the Dodgers, get some more MVP votes. I mean, how many guys have been squandered on other teams? You know, not just with coaching, but, you know, like, I remember Jake Arrieta, who was a highly touted pitching prospect for the Baltimore Orioles. They wanted him to throw, they wanted him to not throw his cutter. It was either his cutter or a sinker. And, they're you know, like, he was horrible. Like, hor a horrible major league pitcher. The Cubs took a chance on him as a reclamation prospect. Go to throw the sinker and the cutter. And for a year and a half long stretch, was the most dominant pitcher in baseball. Won a, he stole a Cy Young from Clayton Kershaw and Zach Ranky. Throws a no-hitter. Become, becomes a, a Chicago legend for a minute. Four old age caught up. No, Father Tom undefeated. All right. Box seven. Good luck. Man, Max will get it back. We're hoping so. Wander Franco, Rookie of the Year favorites. Invicta of Christian Santana. Max Muncy, Khalil Watson. Brandon Valenzuela, Paper, Bowman first. 65 out of 199 for the NL West. And Christopher Jorah. Yeah, in Dodge Stadium. My friend Matt, one of my very close friends, Matt, who is a hardcore Cubs fan, has been all of his life, was at that game. He has a first date with a girl. And, man, he stopped caring about that girl in a heartbeat when he knew Jake was throwing six no-hit innings. Juan Franco. She wanted to leave. And he's like, no, I don't think so. I'm not going anywhere. She didn't get it. Yeah, trust me. I'm uh <laughs> I'm, I'm relearning that right now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not I don't care. You know, if I'm at, say God forbid I don't live in beautiful Sunny Hermosa Beach as a Dodger fan, I'm in like God, I'm in like Pittsburgh. I'm in Colorado, you know, and I'm watching Clayton Kershaw no-hit the Rockies. You bet your ass I'm staying there. 
Dolly Lorenzo, Ray Wave, out of three ninety nine for the Astros, Christopher Girard. I love the Ray Waves. They look super clean. Going to be in this last deck of cards right in front of us. I loved Hanley Ramirez, but I always kind of hate Hanley Ramirez for the throwing error at short. Clayton should have a perfect game. Nice! That's a nice one right there. 125 out of 250 purple chrome on card George Valera first auto. Cleveland Guardians, NL, AL Central, Brian Magnus. Nice, man. Congrats. 125 out of 250 on the George Valera. Congrats. By far our best auto of the case so far. So we got five to do. Nice purple Ray Wave color match. Adael Amador, Colorado Rockies. 144 out of 250, Christopher Girard. Queen card. Last well, stack here. Call some Montgomery paper in there. And a page we own to end it. Seven, eight, no, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five boxes left. Box number eight. I forgot, forgot the, the count for a second. Caught with my hand in the cookie jar there. If you would ask me. Uh, I don't know, man. Ten times. I may move to sitting down for the last few. Back hurts. deep yesterday. Always nice to see. Coming back from the IL. Going deep. see some orange peeking out kind of the top of this left pile. Nice. Like to see that. Good luck. We've seen a couple oranges now. Some yellow. We've seen some double digits, but I want that single. Five or one.
All right. Blue lock. Let's get to that orange. Right in the middle. Nice. 11 of 25. Connor Wong, rookie auto for the Boston Red Sox in the AL East. Now it's going to Andrew. Connor Wong. Two. There we go. 12 of 25. Nice. Rookie auto. Take that for sure. Dice was born on Hellas. Oh, his a Jose Salas in the Bowman Blue out of four ninety nine. Franco, that stack. Don't catch me slipping. Joe Ryan out of three nine two ninety nine. The Magenta, AL Central. Brian Magnus. Vivas in there. And Victor, uh, Victor and Reginald Rosario for the Cubs. Ellen Dale Cruz paper in there. Junior Sanchez. Jordan Valera paper. Orange Shimmer, another orange, 12 of 25, another 12 of 25, Bowman first, Chrome Alejandro Pia, AL East, and Andrew. Nice box for Andrew, another orange heading your way. can do sitting and breaking just because my back kind of killing me. We'll just test and see. Honestly, It's like I'm doing the IG, really. It's like someone just bought four boxes of hockey. Box nine. Oh, this helps the back big 
time. Like if you turned around, it's like you stopped watching for a few minutes. I'm like, hey, when'd you get like a foot short? I am Rex. We sold out the the Bowman baseball case break. I told y'all. I, I I've been telling y'all. I will stick around. I'm a I'm a little weirdo. Break it down, yeah. The clock is about to strike midnight in the Pacific on the West Coast. And, you know, we're not going to be on until Tuesday. You know, I wanted to get a case break of something. It was If it wasn't going to be photogenic, I'll do this. Tell you, let, let Joe and, and Nick and Jason know that. I will stick around. I'm a little weirdo. I like doing this. I mean, there was the one night a couple weeks ago on the IG... Christianity. Win Sanity. Chris Sanity. I'm a degenerate. People on the Instagram side now. So I thought I'd let the people on the YouTube side now. Back is hurting now, so I'm now seated doing this break. Where is uh, Brian Reynolds? Is not sticking as a pirate, obviously. Yeah, where is Brian Reynolds going at the deadline? What team needs outfield help? Who is contending? Boston? Houston? You can put an outfield of of your Don Brian Reynolds and Kyle Tucker. Do you do that? It's not like they need any help behind, you know, on the mound. And they're not really going to... Are there any catches who are available? Salvi's not available. St Jacob Stallings isn't available. Wilson Contreras? Do the Astros go in on Wilson Contreras? God. That team looks like pretty gross if that's the case. All right. Box 9. Good night. Oh, I'm right here on the thing, too. Oh, that's nice. There's our auto. Jan Contreras. Another one for the Cincinnati Reds and the Anno Central. Another one going to Michael. Jan Contreras. On card. Doing some adjusting though on the angles, you know? Nice. Magenta Rayway, 47 out of 199, Khalil Watson. NL East, Stephen P. Very nice. 47 of 199, Khalil Watson. Contreras to the Yankees, they do. I mean, even, I don't know, though, because... They seem to like Jose Trevino, and Jose Trevino may make an all-star team, which is a pretty crazy thing to say. But he's been good for the Yankees. Dodgers don't need him, obviously. They've got William Contreras and Travis Darno behind the plate. In Atlanta, the Mets have... What's his name? Um, oh, God. Um... I was going to say, Jesus, I was going to say, uh, not Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes was a catcher for them, but I was going to say, uh, I couldn't even tell you. It's late. 
Hold on, it's eight. What's his name though? They just signed him like a couple years ago. Uh, uh, former Tiger. It's getting there. Um, oh my god. Got some blue coming up. Nice. Lewin Lane and Sosa Bowman first. Blue Ray Wave 22 out of 150. Oh my god. It's going to bug me. Maybe he'll come up. I don't think he'll come up here, though. He won't be in this product, I think. He'll just mock me. With his ambiguous name. Ambiguously named Catcher. It's like two first names or something. I swear to I swear to John. I don't want to say like Daniel, not Daniel or David. Brian, not uh, Jeff. Uh, something McCann. Not Jeff McCann, is it? Is it Jeff McCann? I know it's Jeff McNeil. It's something McCann. I've got it. It's right there. We're working on it. Jacob McNam? Jake McNam? I don't know, man. I don't know, McMahon. Wander Franco, Bowman at 3 Nice one there. Nick Gonzalez, my guy. Last card in that box. Oh, no, that, that's why I think, like, Houston is a good spot for them. Like, they're, I don't know if they'll give up, I got, you know, someone like Christian Javier or Luis Garcia, but if they give up one of them or some or some of their prospects coming up, you would definitely take that. I'm looking. Sorry. I know I've been doing a case break, but it's bothering me. James McCann. It was a J. James McCann. All right, double digits here, folks. Box number 10. Thanks for sticking around. Double digits. Last three. James McCann. I know it was something basic. I was like, Jacob, Jake, John, James. John, Jacob, Jingleheimer, Schmidt, McCann. I mean, but a team of good pitching aside, I mean, I mean, who is good pitching and needs a catcher? Twins? Are they going to keep riding with Gary Sanchez all season? I don't know about that. The Blue Jays have Alejandro Kirk. The Red Sox have no good pitching. You're not going to give up. Wouldn't you give up Garrett Whitlock or Tanner Howell? Mike, he's good. Wilson Contreras is good. And he's having the best year of his career. You gotta give up pieces for him. Are you dumb and you're the Giants and do you go give up someone like Ricardo Genovez? I don't know. Are you the White Sox and Yasmani's not cutting it? Do you go get him for crochet? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I know it's not Brian McCann. Brian McCann, by the way, super underrated case for the Hall of Fame. He's like an all-time great offensive captain. Numbers are big. And he had a, a, a plethora of silver sluggers, gold gloves, all-star games. I think he was an all-star game MVP, if that's the kind of thing you're into. Won a World Series in Houston. He's a cheater. <laughs> I'm going to in here, I think. It's like a heavy pack. I don't know why. No, this pack is light. It's light. Whoa! Okay! 
we'll get to it, but I did think we were going to get the solo, the, the single digit number. We'll meet our friend Juan, and we did. I was like, that car, that pack felt light, you know? We got one, folks. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Ow, ow, ow. All right, let's get to the first half. I would have sell. There we go, baby. I think so, too. And honestly, I don't think... We've talked about this, wreck, but I don't think the Cubs are that far off from contending for the Central again. Max Muncy. Cracked ice. Wanders right here. Kings Wood, paper, in there. I want to see how... I've got that Blaze Jordan insert. I want to see how Blaze has been doing. I haven't been keeping up with Blaze or Jason Dominguez. It's been a lot of these, these guys. The 2020, 21... The 2021 Chrome and Bowman guys. Nice green Jared Kelnick out of 99, 24 of 99. We will see about young Jared Kelnick. But for the Mariners in the AL West, Christopher Girard. Harry Ford. First round pick for the Mariners this last draft, 2021. Catcher. Good year for the catcher last year. Henry Davis, Harry Ford, Joe Mack for the Marlins. Catcher potentially come in really strong position again. Leave us paper in there. I know, I 100% agree. I mean, if there's one guy you keep around, I mean, shoot. It may as well be Wilson from Chase. All right, we're getting to that. Our, our, our big hit. Now we do a cruise paper in there. Invicta of Colson Montgomery is a nice one as well. George Valera paper. Teach the young kids how it goes while still being a, a presence in the lineup. George Valera, Chrome first. Nice. Second year. Prospect card, Marcelo Meyer, 53 out of 150. Blue Chrome for the AL East and Andrew. All right, it is coming up. Good luck. I didn't quite get a good look at it. But coming up, we got some magenta. Elrod, Luis Rodriguez, 299 paper for the Dodgers in the NLS. Christopher Girard. Right here. Printing plate. Chrome first auto, Luis Verdugo for the Chicago Cubs. This is the actual black printing print used to manufacture car, Luis Verdugo. Cubbies. NL Central and Michael Loja. Nice, Michael. Congrats once again, man. Printing plate on card first auto. Very nice. Congrats. That's our 101. Oh, shoot me. Let me let me do the the very legit nice thing. You know it's all about the boom. Luis Verdugo, Bay Bay. Printing plate, Chrome First Auto. Nice. Oh, our first of the day. It only took until 12, 12 10 a.m. the next day. 
Quill Watson. Watch him turn out to be just a, a super stud for the Cubs, Rex. Someone to start like, oh, why didn't I get this in the first place? Still, we will take a printing plate auto of a first. That would be some very Cubs thing to happen. It's just, it's the second auto that we found of his today as well. Box 11. 11 of 12. There we go. We're getting there. The penultimate box. Do you think we can double dip here? Get another single digit, whether it's a five or another one. Am I asking for too much? That's not my decision. I'm sure someone else, you know, Michael will probably want to double dip, but maybe should spread the love here to Brian, That's Andrew, loud. Christopher, or Steven. Um, I'm okay. I mean, it's a little loud. I'm worried about your eardrums, Teddy. That's it. I think our auto's in this first die. It's coming up quick as well. Oh, the Rays probably need help behind the plate. Yeah, I don't know if Mike Zanino has been cutting it this year. Do you move on from Zanino? Guarantee you the Rays got pitching. If you're the Cubs looking to ship off Wilson Contreras. He seems like a future Marlin, though. I know they just got Stallings, but if you can get a chance at, you know, Wilson Contreras, you probably go get him if you need help behind the plate offensively. And the pitchers in Miami, they don't have to worry about too much. Well, unless that's the thing that's, that's unlocking their success, you know. Pablo Lopez and Sandy Alcantara, Trevor Richards, Trevor Rogers. Let's see what Trevor Rogers. Trevor Richards is an old pitcher. I think the early 2010s. So I think our auto is in this kind of coming up quick in the first deck, so let's just get to it. Good luck. It is Victor Lizarraga for the San Diego Padres. Refractor auto, 254 out of 499. Padres, NLS, Christopher Girard once again. Luis Matos, 50 out of 49, Chrome Refractor. 
Giants MLS, Christopher Girard once again. Eduardo Lopez, Purple Chrome, Boston Red Sox, AL East, Andrew, 250. De La Cruz, Chrome first in there. Shane Baz, Bowman in 3D. Shane Baz making that Chris Archer trade looking still like the worst trade of all time. Matt Frazier, Cracked Ice, first for the Pirates. Chris Archer for Tyler Glasnow. Um, Austin Meadows and Shane Bass. Why, why would you do that? Chris Archer wasn't even close to being Chris Archer at that point either, you know? He's not Cy Young winning Chris Archer. He's, I'm struggling to stay healthy and keep an ERA below four, Chris Archer. Just don't know. Invicta of Hedbert Perez. Stack of box 11 and then our last box, box 12. Thanks everyone for sticking around and keeping me company while I rip a case of Bowman Hobby. I hate this commercial with the pothole. And this lady, like, for arm roll. Husband's got a full coffee. Kid's got a potted plant. Grandma's got the jello. Why are you running into potholes on purpose? What point are you trying to prove? All right. Last box mojo. Brian, Andrew, Christopher, Michael, and Steven. Thanks again for getting these spots either straight up or in that pillar. Congrats, all the hits coming your way. All the Bowman firsts, chrome papers, rookies, inserts, all cards are shipping. Thanks for getting this break filled out, y'all. Seriously. Nice, fun way to end the night. A little Bowman hobby case break. And thanks for everyone for sticking around, hanging out. Last box. Well, I won't be network late at night with the commercials. Then we got some orange in there as well. Nice. One last orange to end the night. So we got no red. A few, a handful of oranges. We have a third orange and a printing plate auto. But no red. It's okay.
be right there in the middle of the orange. I forgot that the Mets threw a combined no-header as well. James McCann. Which M&M commercials? The one with the sexy, the sexy green M&M, whatever it is. Which one's the one that they thought was too hot? I don't know. Shouts out to uh, Billy Fry, though. The voice of Phil J. Fry from Futurama is the red M&M. I think that's awesome. What do you think? I'm some kind of idiot? All right. There it is. Last box. All right in front of us. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Last box. Ellie Dio Cruz, paper. Our last auto, Speckle, Frederico Polanco. 195 out of 299. Second base, third baseman for the Marlins. NL East and Stephen P will grab our last auto. 195 of 299. Nice, man. There we go. Remember the one where the red M&M was in the Valentine's box and the guy opened it months later? I do not. That's grim and dark, which is why I would remember it. I love that kind of stuff. That sounds awesome. George Valera paper in there. Our orange is coming up here. It is. Orange paper, nice color match. Ricardo Genoves for the Giants. Los Gigantes, 9 of 25. And Al West, Christopher Girard. Nice one. He's a nice little catching prospect for them. Number 15 prospect for them. I'll have a color match. I'm a sucker, you know? Pretty little things. Friend all Dewey, cracked ice, first for the Guardians. Mickey Betts, sliding and sliding. Vivas paper in there. Purple. Paper. Jordan. The Don. Jordan Alvarez. 34 of 199. Potential MVP here. For the Houston Astros in the AL West. Christopher Girard. Sure. With the mind of Yoshua Garcia. Getting close to the end here, y'all. So thanks again. I uh, don't think I'm going to go through any orders. 
Wander Franco, Rookie of the Year favorite. I might, though. Since I'm already here. If there is anything. Like I said, if there's anything, you know, people, people are putting in a words and doing stuff. I'll do it. Francisco Alvarez. Nice catching prospect for the Mets. James Wood paper. Another orange in there. Nice. Second orange of the box. Looks like it'll be our last parallel as well. All right. Last stack. That orange at the very end. Let's make it a let's slow play. It. Yeah, who says no? There's Vidal Brujo, which means Wander Franco is right behind him. Last card, our orange. It's a chrome. Another giant. Nice. Anthony Rodriguez. 14 of 25 on the orange chrome color match. And a less. And Christopher Gerard to end our break. A lot of stuff. Number 18 prospect for the G-Man. All right. Well, thanks again, y'all. Chrome. Not cool. Bowman, 2022 Hobby Case Break number one. Uh, potentially may do another one of these on the site. You'll have to check back very, very soon on jazzyscasebreaks.com. Thanks again for sticking around. We'll be back very soon with another break. Good night. Bye.